Wow! It's illusion. Reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm buckling up for an interesting day in the dream. Alright, so... Right now I'm heading into uh, Santa Monica to go see this healer dude. And, uh... It's all, it's all courtesy of my bro because I definitely wouldn't be paying these high dollars on my own. But the dream has afforded me the opportunity to go see this dude who's supposedly going to reprogram my computer or something. We'll see, man. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't even say I'm a skeptic because uh, that's denying the possibilities, man. Anything's possible in the dream. So, I'm in the now about it. I'm going to go just let it happen. See what goes down. And uh, hopefully something rad's going to happen. And in two hours, I'm going to be a different being. <laughs> oh, life is a trip. And then I got the Crystal Fighters on tap for this evening. And um, see what happens in between. All right, I'm running a little late. Whoa, I had to go nap after that experience today. <sighs> I had to like go rest my body. That was such a heavy experience. So gnarly what he was doing. Like I couldn't even really articulate what was going on. But basically my, uh, my heart chakra and the chakra in my stomach weren't communicating so I had to do those breathing exercises and he was doing the karate chops on my solar plexus and stuff to like break the barrier man it was really trippy stuff like this dude called out stuff about me and my like perceptions that I only I know are true and uh, it was pretty wild stuff and now I get, man, you may not believe as the viewer, but whatever, but he uh, basically exercised some psychic vampires that had been attached to my, uh, my chakra point there. There was this, uh, when I was a kid, this, this kid I knew died and he had attached to me, man. Pretty wild stuff, dude. And I was like, whoa, bro. And so we sent we sent this kid back to the blue light, dude. It's pretty radical. Some it was so radical what went on this afternoon, man. Like, I'll never truly be able to like explain it in words. But I guess I guess the point is is like life. And your spiritual self will constantly deliver messengers and tools to free you of the burdens you carry and to heal you. But it won't do it out of sequence. Like if this dude had showed up in my dream two years ago, it would have been too early. Like I'm ready to deal with some like some of this stuff, man, like and have it exercised out of me because... For the first beginning of like my sober experience was like just getting used to like life. Life without drugs and alcohol. Because they were medicine for me, man. They really were like something that I used as a tool and a crutch to like deal with <laughs> the being possessed by a dead child. So radical. It so makes sense. I feel so much lighter. It, it, it really like the hottest was the laughter and then there's this other thing where like he was showing me that my my male leg like my my right leg is totally locks up so it doesn't connect to the earth the, the right way and that it's jammed up all my circuitry and he showed me this new way to move around and stand on my feet so I reconnect with the the source which was pretty radical. And then he grabbed like this, this like chunk of like negative energy in my calf muscle. Like and grabbed the hold of it like a tree branch, dude. And I, and he was like, this is where you stash all your like negative energy. He's like, like, he's like, you stash it in your calf. Like that's the last place I would have looked was my calf. 
and it's like already just like realigning my body and the whole thing and it's so gnarly I had to go sleep for a while today but now I'm gonna go skate for a little bit because I'm feeling the nowness of it I'm gonna go ride around on my skateboard and then I'm gonna go see the Crystal Fighters yeah well I'm here at the El Rey for the Crystal Fighters show it says so on the marquee so I'm here on the correct night Wow, what, what a day. I just went and skated. It was a nice skate session, but man, just realizing you hadn't taken a serious breath in like 36 years, like I'm finally breathing again, like getting oxygen into the system. It's a wild thing. I did not know how jammed up I was till today. It feels like uh, a trillion pounds has come off of my... Uh, spiritual self feeling good fired up let's go see what's going on inside <laughs> all right you can't see anything but not there that's the uh the drinks and the cocktails and the grapes we're backstage thank you try to you out boozy Oh! Yeah! Do you know which way we're going on? Yeah, maybe. The route is short. Someone talk to that then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go down, but I'll see you guys later. I can see you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Breathing, it's so rad. Anyway, what a big night with the Crystal Fighters. That was just the most fun I've had in a long time because I was included not only with the band after the show, but like in the whole energy field of the day. It was the perfect ending to the perfect day. I got to dance, I got to have musical frequencies just loosen me, and the coolest part of, of my friend Graham, he is fully dialed in. He the, the Crystal Fighters are high frequency tribe members all the way, like their music's all about it, their energy's all about it. And it was just very cool because I was explaining what I've been through today with Graham and he got it and he understood and he introduced me to his friends who were here. And it was just this real cool smorgasbord of people who get it. People who are vibrating through the drama and achieving. I don't know, man. I'm fired up that I'm breathing. Super pumped on the Crystal Fighters. For those of you who are watching this, they're heading to San Francisco tomorrow night, then it's up to Portland, and then it's Seattle. So uh, go check them out. Go get some sonic soaking of some high-frequency positive music and dance and just, just send energy and exchange energy, and they'll give it to you, and you can give it back, and just big energy exchange. It's beautiful.